And um, I, I took it upon myself to deliver this message. And Kathy asked me if I would deliver it for you as well. So I did up a PowerPoint presentation just for my own purpose to keep me on track because I really enjoy the visual part of things. And I have a lot of notes written on the pages too because it I, I used it as a on a call, so it wasn't seen. So you can see um, a lot of verbiage on here, which may actually help you out a lot. So you, <coughs> the the message is is pretty much all on every slide. I'm, I didn't ad lib much. I well, I did a bit, but you know me, Kathy. Mm -hmm. um, so I will I will let you know what I did tonight. Um, I'll go sh find this presentation. Oh, from the beginning. Okay. Now, can I put this across the top so I can see my high thumbnail? Yeah. Oh, talking. I, I've never really played with this much. Yeah, if you can just hide the thumbnail, like just have it so it's just you talking. I can't do that. For, or yes, just a second. Be able to. Yeah, I can open you and you're there. But I don't see me. Is that good? Uh, it's the same. Okay, uh, it I, says talking, Lori Lee. So it's okay. You don't need to see me. I, no, um, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha you. So we can just see you now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. So um, I've been using the Valentis products for over four years now, and they have assisted me in losing 65 pounds and, and keeping it off. And my health and wellness has been greatly enhanced with these uh, wonderful products. And I'm extremely grateful to Dave and, and Joyce for uh, bringing them to bear. Um, I'm going to be 62 in a month, just over a month from now. And I feel like I'm on an age reversal trip. So uh, these products have definitely helped me um, live my best life. And I have a deep interest in health and wellness. And we've heard that your health is an investment, not an expense. But that applies to not just financial, it applies to our emotional health, our mental health, our spiritual health, and the investment encompasses all aspects of our life. So I'd like to challenge you tonight to have a bit of a paradigm shift regarding your thoughts on health. So last week I was listening to a lady, a uh, doctor named uh, Christina, Christian, Christiana Northrup, and she's a highly accomplished doctor and advocate for women's health and has three best-selling uh, books on the New York Times. And she was talking about germ theory versus terrain theory. And that really caught my attention. And her analogy, she, uses, she used the fish tank analogy. And she said, imagine you have a dirty fish tank. And the germ theory says, medicate the fish and hope that it survives. The terrain theory says, clean the fish tank and watch the fish thrive and survive. And that just made so much sense to me. So I dove down the rabbit hole of germ theory versus terrain theory for a day or two. And, and I found out a lot of interesting things. And to me, this is, goes back to the, the mid to late 1800s when um, this all began. And, it's, and it speaks to today as well. So Lee, Louis Pasteur was the one who came out with the germ theory. And it says external microbes invade our bodies and cause disease, thus creating a need for a war against the microbes to eliminate them all and conquer the diseases. That's pretty much what chemotherapy does, right? This gave birth to the development of antibiotics, penicillin and vaccines. And I've made a note that antibiotics are derived from poisonous waste of one germ used to an attempt to kill another. And penicillin is the poison from a fungus. And I think we forget about that because Back in the late 1800s, this is how it began, but you know, fast forward to 2020 and, and we're just so used to synthetic medication that we don't think twice about where it came from. So this started us down the path of indoctrination into the thinking that there is a magic pill that will deal with our health issues. And um, at the same time, the germ theory was coming to bear. Antoine Beauchamp started with the terrain theory. And it's the state of the internal environment of the physical body, which either allows for germs to invade and injure the organism or fends them off. So it encompasses nutritional status, toxicity levels, energetic balance, immune function, mental outlook, emotional well being. In other words, nutrition, detoxification, and mindset. Now, out of these two camps, Louis Pasteur. Uh, 
came out for, um, at at the front because the the beginnings of the the medical industry complex saw that there was more money to be made in the germ theory than the train theory. So Bouchamp was pretty, pretty much pushed aside with his theory on the train and the germ theory took hold. And today we have the indoctrination of the synthetic medication. So back in the, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, uh, John D. Rockefeller, who owned Standard Oil, bought up all of the, um, well, the universities basically and started pushing his pharmaceutical agenda which was based on the germ theory and that is what we have today and when i dove into this i was very surprised at how many doctors do not believe in the germ theory so there is there's a lot to be said and louis pasteur on his deathbed actually admitted that antoine bachamp and claude bernard who are the two that worked on the train theory were right so that was pretty interesting so but in this germ theory versus train theory, we, I believe that the Valentis products fit right in with the train theory, nutrition, detoxification, and mindset. The train theory says there is no magic pill. We are what we eat, think, and feel. What systems are compromised within our body? What condition is our terrain in? And that's what we need to know. And you can look at this, this picture here. And if you're 250 pounds and overweight, your terrain isn't looking so good. Uh, and there's a lot of, of, uh, of possibility of disease settling in, where if you're 120 pounds and you don't have a lot of excess visceral fat on your body, you're going to do much better. So the terrain of, uh, of the, the two definitely represent health versus non-health. So what tools do we have in our Valentis tool belt to assist us in finding a solution for, it, for issues within our terrain? The one thing that we have uh, to deal with is having so many products. Where do you start? And that was what my message was tonight was, how do we simplify this? So when we have an issue with our vehicle, we don't just open up the hood of the car and throw all the, the tools at the engine and hope that something works. The mechanic takes the time to figure out which system is affected whether it's the wiring, uh, the engine, the transmission, which system has within the structure of the vehicle is compromised. What would happen if you didn't clean your house for a year? I'm sure we've all seen a few episodes of the show, The Hoarders, it's not pretty, but imagine what the inside of our body looks like when we consistently neglect cleaning up our terrain. Where do you start? So my idea about this is start slow, be kind and power back up. So starting slow to me is giving the body a chance um, to adjust to the action that is happening when you drink the thermo roast coffee. So you begin by nourishing your body to satisfy cravings, support appetite control, all right? Nourish yourself with feel good ingredients. When you feel good, you feel good and life looks brighter and begin the gentle process of detoxing by eating less because we really do eat too much and we overload our body all the time. And then the body has to deal with uh, so many issues inside the terrain. So, and, and the coffee also assists your blood flowing more efficiently. The VASO6 action helps the red blood cells feed the 50 trillion cells that make up your body because life is in the blood. So the coffee is a really good place to start. It's gonna help you feel better, uh, get a handle on your appetite, reduce the cravings, get your blood flowing, really good place to start. To me, the next step is to be kind to the body. I, I really like the Prevail Max. I feel that that's a nourishment that we need. And we know that our food supply is deficient in minerals, vitamins, and nutrients. Our red blood cells carry nutrition and oxygen to over 50 trillion cells in our body. Max Spray injects 10 essential minerals into our body, providing much needed nutrition. And it also provides what's called an osmotic action or pressure where it pushes the blood cells and it pushes them and gets them going. So it encourages blood flow and supports the red blood cells in their important mission, which is feeding 50 trillion cells. So it's a pretty important uh, part of the process. And it also supports, I'm just gonna do this here. It also supports the action of the VASO6 in the Thermorose coffee to further power up our blood. So the, the, the Thermorose coffee and the MAX work very well together to get your blood flowing well. 
And that's very important. Our blood flow, our blood is a one-way system. It flows out and it flows back in, it gets cleaned up and it goes back out again. We don't, we don't change it up. It's the same blood constantly. So you need to keep your blood healthy and flowing well because it feeds your terrain, which is 50 trillion cells in the body. So once you get your caught your your body feeling better, you're eating less, you're you're powering your blood up. Adding the more detox to me is powering back up. It supports the gentle process of detox detoxing with activated coconut charcoal without stressing out the internal organs. Sometimes we can go at detoxing um, way too harshly, and the body reacts, and then the 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 people don't like it and they quit. So. A gentle detoxing is very important. It adds powerful bioavailable fulvic and humic acid minerals that deliver alkaline forming assistance to the body. Again, this is very important because we become too acidic when we don't eat well. Our terrain becomes acidic. And, at, and when, you're, when your body is acidic, that's where disease thrives. Disease cannot live in an alkaline body. So getting ourselves back to an alkaline forming uh, place is so, so important. And carbon 60 is a super antioxidant that is 172 times stronger than vitamin C. You can't eat that many oranges in a day. And antioxidants are extremely beneficial to control the damaging free radical action that causes deep damage inside the cells. And this causes inflammation, irritation, and serious damage to the terrain. So we're always looking at what condition is your terrain in? And emulin M and C are also high in powerful antioxidants that help control inflammation and aging. So antioxidants are very, very powerful for powering your body back up, giving your body the energy it needs to run your internal organs and then begin to get that extra weight off of you. Basically, the body's going to go going to use the energy it has to run the vital internal organs first. It doesn't really care about the 20 pounds wrapped around your belly. It's more uh, uh, concerned about how well are the internal organs working. And so the weight doesn't come off unless you get the internal organs working better. So for success to happen, we must ask ourselves, are we assuming personal responsibility for our own health? Are we committed to a consistent practice for achieving wellness? Do we understand that healing is possible? And do we truly believe that we can live a healthier life? Our critical thinking has been lost in the indoctrination that there is a magic pill. So the germ theory has, has confused us into thinking that there's an outside um, solution in a sense, in the, in, the, in the way of a pill to fix us when really we have to go inside and help our terrain get cleaned up and healthier and powered back up. So <clears throat> Constantine Herring was uh, a homeopath, though he's called the father of homeopathy. And he was another uh, guy back in the late 1800s who he was a medical student and he was, uh, ch he was charged with debunking homeopathy to prove that it, didn't, it wasn't any good. And he ended up studying it and enjoying it so much, he became known as the father of homeopathy. So he really embraced it. So he, his law number one is heal from the top down. So you have to assume personal responsibility for your own health. You just have to. If you don't assume personal responsibility for your own health, anything you do probably will not, will not work. And you have to know that healing is possible. And you have to commit to a consistent implementation to see the results. You have to believe it to see it. You just have to. So basically, you got to start slow. You cannot rush the process of cleaning up and healing. You want to be kind to your terrain. It's been through a lot already, and especially if you've got a lot of pre-existing issues with your health. And then you want to power back up. And this will not happen overnight but consistent action will give you the results you're looking for. And remember the turtle won the race, not the hare. And above all, do not quit. People say that a natural cure takes a long time to work. Yes, it does, but it also takes a long time for a chronic disease to develop too. So one step at a time, love your body, it loves you, and thanks. That's basically what I presented tonight for a short, uh, um, national call. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope it can be of some value to understanding that from the Valentis point of view, we are on the train theory. 
of nutrition, detoxification, and mindset. That's, that really sums us all up. We are not on the germ side. There is no magic pill. We have to do the work. And when you realize that you have to do the work and you don't quit, you can get where you want to go. And, and I, Kathy and, I, and Marlene and I have all been doing this now for quite some time. I've been doing it for four and a half years. And I lost 65 pounds originally. And I, I haven't really gained it back. 